guys and welcome back to another player video and another car review and a rather special review today this is the Morgan three-wheeler talk about that in a second firstly I want to say thank you to everybody who's been subscribing you've been amazing thank you so much we are now right up there and we're starting to get hopefully the credibility that we've been working so hard for for the last year and keep those thumbs up coming because you smash that and I really love it and the comments as well if you've got any suggestions any cars you want us to do let us know there's a comment box down the bottom get on it let's talk about the Morgan this is the Morgan three-wheeler this was the original car that Charles Morgan started the Morgan Motor Company with all those years ago it's not the actual original car obviously this is the 2018 version and it's rather spectacular not only is it spectacular to look at and my god do I have a lot of people who've been around here pouring all over it taking photos of it when you're driving it people taking videos it's an eye-catching car but is it practical mm. well we'll get into that in a minute let's talk some statistics first of all we have a two liter v-twin engine right at the front here basically all that weight is on the front it's stuck between these two lovely wire wheels it gives you a superb sense of balance even though you've only got one wheel at the back look at the detailing on this this is all hand built in the Morgan factory which is down in Morven this is somewhere deepest darkest near Birmingham Warwickshire area well worth a visit if ever you get a chance got a lovely place to have a look around there um, the car is the engine itself so getting back to the engine it runs on standard unleaded fuel it develops 68 brake horsepower doesn't sound a lot but there is bags of torque under this and it absolutely flies because there's no weight in it, it is literally your body weight to be honest with you um, however if you bought one of these in America you would get 86 brake horsepower doesn't sound a lot of difference got to ask yourself why well our good friends in Europe that's why who sadly will no longer be our partners anymore which means we're gonna get more brake horsepower for this because we can up it to 86 like the Americans get which I think is rather fair stupid idea anyway let's take a look around the car so we have these lovely spoke wheels at the front again keeping to the original format this is how this car looked you know a long long time ago well before I was born and I can assure you if anyone wants to comment on that I love the little centre hub on that, very easy to undo, release, it all works. Lovely big exhaust lines down the side here. What you're going to notice here, straight away, this is a shield. Because when you get out of this car, you've got to step over. Because if you touch this after it's been running, we're talking third degree burns and probably casualty for the evening. Which wouldn't be nice. And then a lot of pain for the next few weeks. This gets rather hot. But it's all part of the character of this car. It's the way you get in it, the way you get out. Getting in this car, I mean... There's no doors, there's only one way in, and this is the way I've been taught by Morgan. So it's one foot in, and then rest your back on the seat like that, one foot over, slip down into the car. It is very similar to getting into a racing car, that's the only way I can describe it. Let's get round the back and have a look at it, getting out's a little bit more difficult. Same process, feet up, seat on the back, step out, mind the exhaust, and away we go. See, I made it look so simple. Round at the back of this car, there isn't a lot because it's just beautifully shaped it's so unique so unbelievable the petrol tank is right in the back here so you don't get any boot space so we're not talking liters of boot space here under the little rear boot thing here we have two little flaps which are very easy to open up and i'll go around and release the other one which helps and there we go so that one just pulls out like that and then that just flips up like that and inside there is two parts to this because it zips up so if you're out on your own you can have one side over here well, that's this side I purposely put it that side and the other one goes the other side and that just clips on the top really nicely like that I'm not going to do it now because I want to show you inside and that is so if you haven't got a passenger with you you can keep that side all nice and cozy and uh, even better during the winter when it keeps it nice and warm but you're not really going to be taking this car out when it's really bad weather it's just too nice to spoil it if you get my drift so let's get the boot down and we'll show you a little bit more about the car inside. There's not a lot to show you, but there's enough to keep this thing on the road and keep you interested and do the basic things you require it to do. Let's talk the steering wheel first. This is one of my favorite things. As there's no doors, there's no way of locking this car. So in order to keep it rather security conscious, Morgan came up with the idea of that. Now, how bloody cool is that, that you walk into a restaurant, good evening, ah, Mr. Jones, your table for two. Don't mind if I bring my steering wheel, do you? Didn't want to leave it in the car. 
No, sir, of course not. We have a private seat for your steering wheel. I, rather, I really like this. Pops on and easy. easy. It's just got a little release catch there. So we'll pop that back on there. There we go. Inside the car, very simple dials and dashes. Um, dashboard is all here. You've got your rev meter, got speedo. You can barely see this when you're going along because the vibration is absolutely incredible at speed. But nonetheless, you get a rough idea of what speed you're doing. To start here, we have a lovely little button that's hidden under here. And you just push the start button here once you've turned the ignition on and then she will start up. Before we do that, let's just show you the other button. So we've got a rear fog light. We've obviously got a hooter, which is totally legal. Indicators here, which you have to remember to turn off. So once you put them on, you've got to remember to release them again. Very similar to a motorcycle. Here we've got the hazards, headlights, very, very simple. Let's jump in and get this thing started up so you get a sound for it before we get it out on the road. Here we go. Remember what I said? Feet down. I did it rather lazily there, but I've got used to this now. Five speed manual gearbox, absolutely stunning. Very close sync on this, very, uh, very tight. It's a Mazda gearbox, it's smooth as they come. Clutch is very strong, it's almost a, a racing clutch. It's, it's really tough to push down. It does weigh a little bit heavy on your knees, but nevertheless, it's not that bad. So, ignition on. Let's check she's in neutral before I go shooting through a tree. Morgan wouldn't be very happy and we'll push the start button. Another thing with this car, it hates petrol being pumped through it when you start it. You have to just let it start itself. So there she goes. Doesn't that sound lovely? I mean that's just tick over. Let's give it a little bit of beans and you'll hear what I'm talking about. Right over here me over the noise. turn her off so you can hear me. I mean this is absolutely mad. I love it. We're going to get it out on the road. We're going to give you some feedback on the road if we can, if you can hear me. Um, and I'm just so excited to drive this thing because I brought it here and I know exactly what it's like. You're going to see in a minute. Catch up with you in a second. <laughs> You can probably hear the noise is absolutely unbelievable this is such an experience I've never driven anything like it this really goes back to the old school days of driving I mean this is brass tacks driving if it starts to rain and it's not looking good I've got to admit then the, the, we're gonna get wet there's no doubt about it but who cares when you're driving someone just listen to that engine it's just poodling away there so we're gonna head back and I just, well, I'm completely blown away as you can see. One of these cars, best part, 48 grand. Not a bad buy for your bucket list. Get it in the garage, use it on the weekends. It's stunning. You will not be disappointed. Morgan Cars, we love you. Guys, don't forget, smash the like button, subscribe. We love you. We want more of this. Talk to you soon. See you later.